And I'm a firm believer if you could bring those diesel prices down to where they need to be to a reasonable price, well, then your inflation, as far as what you're paying in the stores for your groceries and any other type of goods that you want to buy are going to come down because you don't have the high price. Hey there, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Survival Preparedness for Beginners. And today, I want to just update you on a story that I reported on a while back on the truckers. I was talking with a buddy of mine that's on my route, and as I had told you before, he's an independent truck driver. We got talking, and I wanted to, I asked him, I asked him about, you know, how much it's costing him now that diesel prices are all over five dollars a gallon uh, on average across the country. And he explained to me, now he has a new Freightliner. And he traded in his old one because he was getting like five, six miles to the gallon. And the new ones get around 10 miles to the gallon. So that made a huge difference in the amount of money that was costing him. Now he runs loads from Orlando, Florida to Los Angeles, California. And he picks a load up there and he brings it back here. And he does that every week. Um, he did get a pay raise on what he was making based off of the fuel prices because nobody was pulling loads. And all goes back to what I was telling you, the higher that diesel price goes, the harder it is for uh, the independent truck drivers to move their freight and to get out there on the roads because they're losing money. So he said on average with the new truck, with the new Freightliner he's got, now it has 250 gallon tanks because it's a long haul, all right? So when he fills that sucker up, it's like 1500 bucks. He has to fill it up twice to go from Orlando to Los Angeles and back to Orlando. So that costs him over $3,000 a week just for diesel fuel. Now, him being an independent truck driver, he still has to maintain that truck tires, oil changes, all that kind of stuff comes out of his pocket. Who he runs the loads for don't pay for any of that kind of stuff. And this is what's going to um, affect not only the food shortages, but all the shortages that we are seeing in a lot of these stores nowadays. Because let's face it, a lot of people are having a hard time in the trucking world that are independent truck drivers and they're having a really difficult time putting that truck on the road when they're not making money or losing money. It's a fact. They really need to crack down and bring those diesel prices down. But for some reason, they don't want to do that. They never have and I don't know if they ever will. Um, diesel prices have always been higher, you know, and they're even more higher now. Uh, he told me one place you do not buy diesel is in California because it's the diesel prices in California are well over six dollars a gallon. It, it's a dollar and change more per gallon than it is even if you go to like Nevada or someplace else. He says so if you're going to get fuel, you get it before you go into California, not while you're in California because it's going to cost you even more. You know, if you figure if you're putting you know, say you had to fill the truck up in California, you put, say, 300 gallons in it. And it just cost you another dollar and change per gallon. It's a lot of money compared to just getting it in like Nevada or something where it's a dollar or so less. All these prices all get rippled down to us. And I've that's why I've told you people, you really need to pay attention that diesel fuel price controls how much things are going to keep going up because in the end to move the goods from east coast to west coast they're going to have to pay more in the long run to all these truck drivers these trucking companies and everything else they all start charging surcharges they raise their surcharges their fuel surcharges so it's costing you more and there's nothing you can do about it until they can get these prices under control, which is why we need to be making sure that we're doing whatever we can do in this country to get our own fuel, our own energy and everything else. We have it. We need to do it ourselves. 
and bring these prices down. And I'm a firm believer if you could bring those diesel prices down to where they need to be to a reasonable price, well, then your inflation, as far as what you're paying in the stores for your groceries and any other type of goods that you want to buy are going to come down because you don't have the high price. It doesn't take a rocket scientist to figure that part out, but that's not going to happen now, is it? So I just wanted to bring you a quick video today and an update on what is taking place out there so you all can stay in the now. And I'm telling you exactly what I was told by my friend who is an independent truck driver on my route. And this guy is living the nightmare and still trying to put food on the table for his family and spending lots of money just to drive from point A to point B and back. So until next time, folks, y'all keep prepping. Y'all stay safe and I'll catch all of you on the flip side.